y'all y'all and welcome back to my channel and in all honesty i had absolutely no intention of filming a get ready with me today like i was like i'm just gonna get it done i'm gonna do my makeup i filmed a get ready with me yesterday do my makeup in the bathroom today and just do the other videos that don't involve get ready with me but i did a get ready with me was it no i did a tag video talking about palettes and i kind of got all this reignited passion for these palettes I hadn't used in a while. We had the Viseart Grand Pro Volume 3 and I was looking at it and I was like, I'm getting all kinds of up in my feels in here. And I remembered that basically forever ago uh, when I got this palette, a lot of y'all were like, hey, could you do like multiple looks with it and stuff like that? So today we are going to be doing a look with this and I plan on doing three more get ready, two more get ready with me using this to show you guys the versatility I'm probably going to do. I'm doing focusing on this section today. And then I'll probably want to do a blue and then maybe this row and then maybe it will be three more videos. I don't know, but I'm going to be pulling this bad boy out a lot because I remember specifically several of y'all requested to see multiple looks with this. So today we're doing the get ready with me with look number one. And we're just going to be talking about random shiz, you know, my health and all sorts of whatever. This is kind of not a uh, pre-thought out one because I didn't plan on doing it today. So we're just going to be talking about stuff. I'm going to be honest with y'all. It is the first time I have ever used any kind of eye primer with Viseart shadows because typically they work really well the way I was doing my eyeshadow before we will have to see. Y'all know that Viseart, especially the Grand Pro 3, is one of my end all be all palettes and formulas. I love that shiz. I will take that shiz to the grave with me. So I really hope that the addition of the eyeshadow primer doesn't make it different because if there's anything I have learned while messing around with makeup is that eyeshadow I mean makeup on a whole but eyeshadow can be so blinking finicky I'm also gonna apologize now for the in and out saturation that's just what happens when I dress the way I dress but I'm really excited because like I said I pulled this stuff out and I was like wow this is really pretty all right what do I want to do I saw this one section I was like "Ooh, girl that section is cute but then I'm drawn to this section over here mm. No, we'll go with this. So, how have you all been? Have we been doing pretty good? If you all follow me on Twitter, well, maybe not Twitter, but mostly, mostly if you want to see me engage on a day-to-day -day basis with you as a subscriber and as a person, uh, join the Snapchat. That is, I feel, where I'm the most... I don't know, I don't want to say active, but it's definitely a place that I do a significant amount of interaction on. So for those of you who've been on there, you're probably familiar with the fact that uh, one of my most recent health adventures has been that I am now going am gluten free. My brother Luke is actually gluten intolerant and apparently it can be something that's, oh, what's the word, genetic. And my mom was looking online and I had a lot of the symptoms, including that nasty, nasty rash I had for like Four months and she was all up online looking up all kinds of symptoms and she was like hey you kind of got a lot of the symptoms here maybe we should ease off the gluten a little bit and this is she's saying this to someone whose favorite food group is pasta which I will admit I have found uh what is it Barilla Barillo that pasta brand makes a amazing gluten-free pasta I'm just gonna say that right now but we've been doing the gluten-free and I must say for me personal Personally, we have seen a lot of positive changes in just me. Uh, like I've said on Snapchat, it looks like, it seems like my body is getting up at a better time on its own. Um, I'm not bloated. I don't seem as irritable. 
I don't seem as stressed or as anxious. So I'm not saying it's a cure-all whatever, but for me and the stuff that I'm dealing with, it's been pretty stinking great. Now, with that being said, there was oh, a couple nights ago that I was eating. I mean, I was a dummy and that's, you know, why it happened. But I was eating this thing that was like a rice thing, prepackaged thing. And I was dumb, didn't read the fine print, and it is a rice and pasta blend. Let me tell you, that pasta was not gluten-free. And boy, was I feeling it the next day. I was, I was bloated, and I felt bad, and my tummy hurt, and I didn't want to eat anything. It was not fun. So I have gotten a lot more, um, how shall we say, religious? Um, a lot more, uh, I pay a lot more attention to the small writing on packages and stuff I'm buying that I'm gonna be ingesting. How about that? But we did go to Aldi's and to Kroger, and we were able to find a significant amount of pretty good gluten-free stuff. I found some really good breaded chicken that I like. I found, like I said, that one pasta brand is really good. Uh, one thing I need to do and I need to figure out how to make on my own is, y'all probably know, um, if you don't know, then you know now, I love mac and cheese. I love macaroni and cheese. One of my favorite end all be all comfort foods. And so I found really good um, pasta. I just need to figure out how to make my own cheese sauce for it because the we tried the one from Aldi's, which the pasta is really, really good, but the cheese sauce, I mean, it's okay. I could take it or leave it. It's not exactly Kraft or Velveeta. So I'm definitely going to be looking into, you know, making my own stuff with you know, the pasta. And just for those of you playing at home, I started out with this shade right here, which is Nameless. Well, that doesn't help me at all, does it? Uh, this shade right here, and now I'm gonna go into this shade, and then I'm probably gonna end off with this shade right here. Depending on how all of this goes, of course, but no, going gluten-free has seemed to be just really good for my health overall, which is nice, because I'm most of the time, not the best about my health. <laughs> I am, um, I think most of you know this at this point, I'm diabetic. <laughs> I am not insulin dependent, but I do take metformin, which is the diabetes drug. So it's kind of like taking it just bit by bit, trying to just, all right, let's, let's try to figure out all the health things so that, you know, my body feels like a human being because I don't know if I told y'all or if y'all are familiar, when I was diagnosed as diabetic and they put me on metformin, my body did not know what to do with itself. It was like, is this what feeling normal is supposed to feel like? I mean, at the time, I was also like, right when I was diagnosed being diabetic, I was also not so much diagnosed. I haven't been officially. Well, actually, I have. Never mind. It was a diagnosis. But of bipolar personality disorder. <laughs> so much fun explains so much. And they put me on a, I was already on antidepressants, antipsychotics, anti-anxiety. And she was like, she was just like, has anybody ever thought about, you know, you know, as bipolar as a, uh, diagnosis for you. And I don't think it had at the time. And so she was like, I'm gonna throw you on some Lamotrigine and the metformin with the Lamotrigine. I was just like walking on sunshine. Like, oh my goodness, I feel alive. It was a pretty significant turning point for me in like my mental health and my mentality. I remember really vividly, I was on the phone with my brother Luke, who is basically one of my best friends, has been one of my best friends just about all our lives. He's only three years older than me. I mean, I love all my brothers, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> I feel like I have that like special best friend connection with my brother Luke. And anyway, so I was talking to him and I was like, I was literally, this was like, <sighs> like not like, uh, really, really soon 
before I got diagnosed. So it didn't happen that long before all of that stuff went down. And I remember just asking him, I was like, Luke, I, you know, see all these, you know, you read accounts of people who are struggling and people who have depression. And I was like, Luke, at what point is my depression story and my anxiety just story going to get better? At what point am I going to be able to say it was this moment when things started to look up? Because at the time I had none of that. It was probably some of the deepest depression I've been in in a while. And I was like, when is it going to get better? When does my story get to start going up? And instead of this like continuous just spiraling downward. Excuse me, burp squad. And after that, they were like, all right, let's get you on some Lamotrigine. Let's get you on some metformin. And I've been a lot better since. And one thing that's been, you know, important when, um, oh, I don't know if important is the right word. One thing is that with the uh, Lamotrigine and the metformin, I was able to naturally drop around 20 pounds that I've still managed to keep off. I was teetering in the 190s area and I'm like, that's kind of not where I want to be right now. Which then pretty much brings me to me just trying to be healthier. I do have some content on my Patreon right now that is just based, you know, just kind of discussing how I'm doing, what I'm trying, you know, what I'm doing for being healthier. And I do think like it was done for a different reason than like, oh, I want to lose weight and I want to be, you know, all kinds of healthy and whatever. It was done because mom figured it was going to help my quality of life to, you know, not put the gluten in and to just see what happens. And since it has really, really shown positive effects, we're just going full throttle with it, which I like, I thought it was going to be worse than it is, you know, because like, you know, you think gluten and one thing that you find out when you're doing this, there's so many things that have gluten in them, like random things that have gluten in them. Mom got some because mom's all super healthy and amazing like that, but she got some uh, cauli cauliflower hash browns, right? And we we're like, oh, this is going to be so great. It's all nice and much healthier. And I was like, I want to try one of those. And so we were just looking at it and kind of looking at the ingredients and it's like wheat. And I'm like, oh, okay, all right. I was able to find my own version at the store a couple days later. But like in the moment, it was like, oh, I would like to have cauliflower hash browns. I mean, I'd like to have normal hash browns, but <laughs> we are trying to make that the, the, the healthy choices here. So it's been good. It's been eye-opening. It's been, like I said, the, the most important thing, like weight aside and everything like that, the fact that like it has improved my mood, my ability to like get up in the morning and function as a human being has been absolutely fantastic. I'm so just, just so so pleased with that because that's something I struggle getting up in the morning and being a functioning human being adult person can get pretty uh problematic in the morning I hate mornings I hate early mornings or just morning in general definitely not a morning person right now here. Okay, so as you all know, the Grand Pro 3 is obviously a all matte palette. So I had to figure out what kind of shimmer I wanted to do with this look. And I have my ColourPop custom palette right here. And I was kind of torn between these two colors right here. This one, which is a little bit more greeny, is La Playa. And then this one, which is the gold, which I thought just, I love green and gold together. This one is Rascal. I think we we'll try the gold. We're going to see what happens. We're going to try Rascal. So for me, going the gluten-free route has been just really, really positive. I like, I admit when I first started, of course, I thought when I got diagnosed as diabetic, I'm like, that's it. I'm never going to be able to enjoy life or food again. Just, you know, just 
sign me off. I have finished my not so free trial of living and I would like to cancel the subscription service. But it's actually been pretty good for me. It is also sort of a blessing, I would have to say, that my mom has had diabetes for I don't know, know how many years. So, you know, living and knowing someone who's already gone through it, who's got all sorts of information on it, and same with the gluten, because not only is my brother Luke all kinds of familiar with you know, being gluten intolerant. My eldest brother's wife, Missy, actually also is gluten intolerant and she's been gluten intolerant. My brother Luke found out about eight months ago. My sister-in-law has known for years and the difference between like her and me is, you know, there wasn't when she found out and was trying to live that gluten-free lifestyle, there weren't a lot of options. There wasn't a lot of variety in what you could find that was gluten-free. And so to be, find out that you're gluten intolerant in such a time that, you know, where there's a lot more options, mm, excuse me, burp squat again. It's not as bad as when she was dealing with it. Not gonna lie, this shimmer is kind of, I mean, it's pretty, it's nice, but it's not being not being the best when it comes to application and I hate it, I hate it. Y'all know I hate it when I do something like this and I whine about a shimmer and I'm like, well, it's not applying and I got people down below. We'll use a glitter glue. I'm not using glitter. I'm using a shimmer. It should be able to apply on its own. Like, yeah, maybe you do it for like a little bit of extra something something, but you know, who has time to be whipping out the glitter glue or the tacky primer or the cut crease thing every time they do their makeup. I don't, I don't have time for that shiz. I mean, yeah, it may improve your makeup in the long run, but I'm like, I'm just, I'm not talking about long run. I'm, I'm talking about like right here, right now. Not mad about it. Not my best, most even blend right there, but I think that's kind of okay. But no, living gluten-free has been pretty, pretty good for me. I'm also kind of just, Y'all know that for a while now, I mean, I've said it and I don't know how many different videos recently. I don't know how recent they are when they go up. But I've been sort of in a transitionary period in my life and with my content and everything like that. I've got a couple different things I really need to figure out for myself. And so I've been kind of focusing on myself if that makes sense like i'm trying to focus on the things that are going to make my life better if that makes sense not that i'm like not paying attention to other people or suggestions and stuff like that but right now in my life i really need to just as cheesy as it sounds i need to choose me and do what is best for me in my future and my life. So as you all know, I am going to be applying. I did discuss this in the, like talking about my channel and stuff like that. I'll leave that get ready with me down below, but I'm gonna be applying to different nursing schools and basically I'm going to be applying everywhere that I have a full support system. I think I said this in that video, but I'll be applying to uh, Utah. My brother Arvum lives there. Uh, Arizona, my brother Luke lives there. Uh, Louisiana, my brother Samuel lives there. And here in Virginia, because I have my parents, obviously. Uh, my best friend Morgan is pretty keen on me schooling in Virginia. <laughs> we actually passed by uh, one of the schools that I'll probably be applying to. And she was like, behold, it is a school. It is 10 minutes away from where I live. It is a sign. It's been absolutely fantastic to have a best friend, honestly, and I've never had a best friend quite as best friend as Morgan is to me. Like, this is gonna sound, she, if she were a dude, she'd be my soulmate. I'd be like, yes. Or not so much if she were a dude, it's more if she weren't married and I'm married. All right, that got a little creepy, but y'all know what I mean. But bestie is absolutely fan-tucking-fastic and I love her to pieces. Put my liner off camera because I am a coward, as I always say. So I like, 
I was going through my stuff last night and I was getting all my makeup together for this look and I've been really loving uh, this Wet n Wild one that one of y'all sent me. I did that with this one over here and I was going through my stuff and I found this ColourPop one. I was like, you know, I should probably try to use it. And last night I took a swatch of it and this has lived through, I washed my face, I've done dishes, you know, this has been pretty stinking hearty. But the problem I have is that it just, when I go to use it on my eye, like you have to press, that's what I did using light pressure and that's like hard pressure. And when you put that much pressure down to have to get the, the liner to come out, it just drags my eye and it skips and so, I tried it. I really did, but I don't think it's going to be one that I'm going to be able to use up because it just doesn't work how I would like a liner to work. So at least I tried with that. It's kind of like, oh, I mean, it was affordable, but you never want to get something and have it not work. I mean, how frustrating is that? So yeah, for me and my health whatevers, I've been doing pretty stinking good. You know, I mean, my life is kind of, as I said in that one video, it's a little bit chaotic right now. Like it hasn't been the most uh, consistent. And I don't know if you all know, but part of what um, <laughs> bipolar, at least my part of being bipolar is, I don't do well with change. I really don't. I have my routines. I have my eye thrive despite how chaotic I may appear um on certain social media or here on YouTube I truly thrive on consistency and routines and like scheduling and stuff like that like I can't ooh burp squad I can't just sort of I have a hard time if I've got like a plan in my brain and it just kind of goes by the wayside I'm like I had a plan, I was doing a thing, you know, so having my life be so like transitionary, like I don't know where I'm gonna be living. Well, I'm with my parents right now while my husband is in Florida, but I'm like, you know, you know, where am I gonna be living? Where am I gonna go to school? And those kind of things just really, really stress me out for some reason. I'm not sure why. I just, I have never, ever, ever been someone who not even so much like change I just haven't I've never handled it well change is definitely something that I do not vibe with but it's definitely something that I need in my life right now in many different ways so we're just kind of keeping it pushing a lot of y'all have you know been with me during these transformative times, as it were. I will say though, for as much stress and as much whatever that I put myself through, my skin's still looking pretty stinking good. So I'm like, at least my skin isn't betraying me. Although I did have a couple of rogue pimples yesterday and I was like, excuse you? I buy expensive, bougie, bougie skincare for you. Not all of it is, but some of it is, and I do not need you to dis disrespect me in that way. How dare you? So yeah, but aside from that, skin's been looking pretty great. And I think that is also part to the uh, having the less gluten, because for some reason, like I said, my skin's just doing really nice right now. And I have also, I don't know if any of y'all knew, but I used to smoke, <laughs> um, and I don't smoke no more um and that has been a really good thing for my skin as well i mean i still i still vape the cbd and the uh delta 8 but and some people would say that's just as bad my dad is trying to get me to he wants me to stop consuming caffeine and to quit the cbd and delta 8 especially the vaping i don't think he minds like uh, the gummies and the other things like that, but specifically he doesn't like the vaping. And vaping has its own, you know, vaping is not the end-all be-all alternative to smoking. I mean, smoking just <laughs> wreaks havoc on your body. But since quitting the smoking and everything like that, my skin has just been so much better. Also been working on being better with exercising. Y'all know that I'm a pretty big fan of the treadmill. If you want to see me, I'm getting a little bit better about it. If you want to see me talk about exercising and being healthy in a little bit more different way, that is what I am currently doing 
with my Patreon, which I actually think I'm just going to turn the, because I was originally being like, oh, we're just talking about health and stuff. I think I'm just going to turn it into a blog. <laughs> I'm just going to get on there and just talk about, you know, my life and things and kind of have it be a way for you all to keep up with me on different things aside from, ooh, eyeshadow. Or, ooh, this palette sucks. Kind of like that healthy in between. I'm so close to using this. I mean, I've been close to using this thing up for probably way too long and I should probably just stop using it because it's like way too freaking old. I've definitely, wow, it's for six months. Had it for way longer than six months. But if y'all are interested in that, I always leave my Patreon and my OnlyFans linked down below for anyone who is potentially interested in being involved in other aspects of my life. Totally understandable if you don't. Sometimes I don't want to be involved in all aspects of my life. But I would have to say, considering, you know, where I've been at and what I've been doing, mentally I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. Like I said, y'all, like I said, on the Snapchat, you all see me Snapchat. <laughs> always had this this joke I remember talking about. I'm like, okay, YouTube is where you see me like this. Instagram is all the kind of perfect whatever. Twitter is informative. And then Snapchat is just like, y'all want to see me eat my weight and gummy bears? I mean, that's the kind of vibe, <laughs> kind of the, the whatever that my Snapchat gives. It's definitely, if we're telling, it's definitely more chaotic neutral then I mean I exude I am chaotic neutral that's my alliance but it definitely shows through in the snapchat okay so I actually pulled out three different blushes let me see here this is the hello kitty and friends bundled up Ooh, that would be pretty and then I have Vogue which I was like if I wanted to go more like I don't know rosy and then this is Love Story also by Colourpop which is mm -hmm. I think I'm kind of torn between these two they would give different looks this honestly shouldn't be that hard it is a freaking blush Ugh. do I go with my gut do I go with my gut mm, I'm so torn because I love orangey I mean it's kind of pinky all right um oh, why is it so hard this shouldn't be that hard I think I'm gonna go with my gut and go with love story which is the more basically what I do when I do green eye looks all right let's see what happens I love me my color pop blushes mm -hmm. Hmm. Just a little delicateness going up in here. That's all. Just enough. I love the ColourPop blushes. You all know this. I love how they blend. I love how they look on the skin. They are something that I am always, always tempted by anytime ColourPop comes out with a new release. I'm like, everything else is stupid. Stupid. But those blushes look awfully cute. That happened when the uh, the Lizzie McGuire <laughs> collection hit and I was like, I want those. But as you all know, we are trying to not embrace the consumeristic um, urges that I have this year, or at least embrace them a lot less intensely. I'm actually super, super excited. I have no idea when this video is coming out compared to other videos that I'm doing. But today I did receive the notification that my Kaleidos, Club Nebula, and my Melt Cosmetics Mary Jane palette are en route to me. I'm going to be seeing, going to be going to my niece's baptism, so I'll either get those videos filmed before we go to Washington or they'll be waiting for me when I come back. Either way, I do believe I am planning a get ready with me using at least the Club Nebula one. I'm so so beyond ready to slather that shiz all over my face. It, the excitement, the, mm, it's gonna be amazing. Don't think I'm gonna do that with the Mary Jane one, but obviously there will be a review. And honestly, we'll have to figure out like what reviews, like, like I've explained my financial situation when it comes to like buying eyeshadow and this channel and everything like that. And I think one of the last reviews I did was the ColourPop Fade Into Hue and it didn't even get a thousand views, which could be because that was an older palette, but I'm gonna see what happens with these two reviews. And if I can't pull in views 
on reviews, I'm going to have to rethink like doing reviews because if they're not pulling enough for them to be viable on the channel, as much as I love doing reviews, it's like, oh, it's a struggle bus right here. I'm going to be doing all kinds of layers with my highlighter up in here. What am I mixing this shiz with? Because basically every time I do my highlighter, I'm using one or both of these because I'm trying to make it look like I've actually used it. Not as easy as you would think, believe it or not. We're going to mix a little bit of this with a little bit of this. Please don't be stupid. Okay, you're playing. A little shimmy shiny, a little nicey nicey nice going there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's pretty. Y'all know when I like, when I do green, I like to do green toned like white gold and gold highlighters just, oh, oh, so, oh, bleh. They get me all up in my feels. They're just so, so beautiful. I love that subtle. I just love green. Green is, for whatever reason, it has become like, I don't wear green. I mean, majority of the time I wear black, but like green as a color, I've said it before, just wasn't really ever anything that was like, oh yes, this is exactly, you know, this is my favorite color. It That never happened, but you know, now that I'm here, I just... It's just one of those things that gets me hot and bothered in all kinds of ways. <laughs> like, oh, I'm so sad. We all know that Becca's just under. But y'all know that one of my favorite, favorite highlighters was Golden Mint, which, once again, it's that perfect white gold with that beautiful layer of green something something. And that one just gets my heart all kinds of pity pat. I remember the the Wet n Wild Mermaid one. That one was all kinds of white gold with a harsh green reflect. I was just F me up. I mean, I think I'm just more confident in my makeup whatevers now that I actually know what I like and want when it comes to makeup. Because before I feel like I was just kind of willy-nilly buying everything. And did you me. I was buying everything and just haphazardly being like, oh, it's good because people like it. And I'm like, that's not enough to, you know, but now that I know what I like, hmm. Okay. So here's the hard part. We've done everything else all fantastic. Like now I have to decide. <laughs> oh, you would have seen on Snapchat. I was like, should I do like mixing? But after seeing how the look came out today, I think I can get away with using one of these that isn't, you know, that doesn't need to be like mixed. No, baby. Kind of. Mm, no, 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 not really. This is more of like a brighter look. Let me see here. I'm going to go see how these look. I ain't going to be doing this on camera. I'm sorry because I don't care when it comes to liquid lipstick or lipstick, whatever it senses fear worse than eyeliner for me. Like eyeliner, I can do somewhat okay. Liquid lipstick, Mmm. So wish me luck that at least this goes somewhat well. All right, what is up? I think I made a good choice on the lipstick shade today. I honestly get so happy when one of these works out well, especially when I have to film other videos. There's nothing, nothing more discouraging than sitting down to do a get ready with me and everything just turns sideways and you're like, I know how to use makeup. I've done this before. I've done it so many times, but why doesn't it work right now? And your body's just like, <laughs> sucks to be you. So really happy with how this turned out. Now don't ruin it with too much oh, mascara. Don't ruin it. I said really happy with how this turned out. Definitely excited to be doing the other ones. You know, the other colors in the Viseart Grand Pro 3. Y'all know it's like, I mean, y'all know it's my favorite. It's my shoes knit and it makes me all kinds of happy. So I'm not sure which color one we're going to be doing next, but definitely stick around if you want to see more looks with the Viseart Grand Pro 3. And if you like, get ready with me because that's 
what I've been doing lately. Thank you guys for coming on in and watching me just kind of babble all along while I do my makeup. It's just, I say this every time, I'm like, it's become just a nice way for me to sort of just, you know, when I'm feeling all, Ugh, I come on here and I play with makeup and you know, it makes me feel good. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. And as always, keep it real. Mwah.